Welcome, welcome. If you follow us on this channel, you know that we bought a single family home here in Portugal, in Alentejo, that we are renovating. In today's video, we'll be talking a little bit more about how we are planning bedrooms. How do you think about where to put the beds, where to put the outlets, how many outlets is enough outlets? And the answer is there's never enough outlets. So let's take a look and show you what we are thinking in each one of the bedrooms. Stay tuned. So this first bedroom that I'm showing you here is going to be our guest room and future room of one of the kids. If they decide they want to be together anymore, we want to keep options open. So here what we are choosing to do is to place the bed on that side. You can see that we bought some sprays to simulate where the bed is. So we decided let's put it there. It's enough space, it's comfortable. You have the light just shining in there. When you come in, you just see directly the room, which looks really nice. And then comes the question of outlets. And here you can see clearly that we are geeking out on outlets. We are going with the more the better. We are putting them all now because this is the opportunity to put outlets because the wall is going to go with plador on top of it and we don't want to be in the future making holes again to put outlets. So we are going with the approach more is better and if the future we decide we don't need it, you just like close it and that's it. But at least you have the option. And here the reason is that we are putting, planning to put these little wooden nucks from this amazing furniture company that I'll share in the future that you're gonna love it if you love sustainable wood that is wood. It's not like that contraplacado, I don't know how you call that in English, that agglomerate of wood, but it's like real pine wood. So stay tuned for that tip in the future. But here we are going with that little item and putting a lot of plugs because you have so many devices today. You have your alarm clock, you want to charge your phone, you want to charge your Kindle, uh, you have your special light, you have whatever else in the future we'll be plugging and using. So we want to have enough options and we are placing them already where the nook is going to be. So they are embedded, embedded, sorry, embedded in the furniture and it looks lovely. So this is our guest room. Let's keep going. The room we are going is my absolutely favorite room. I wish when I was a kid I could have this massive room. This was actually before the living room, but we decided our kids are still toddlers. They need space. They need space to have to store their a thousand Legos and little cars. So we decided to give them the biggest room in the house. They're going to be sharing it while they're little. And what we've been doing here is trying to simulate where we're gonna be placing each bed. So we're trying to simulate all the, all the scenarios. Either we have them in this wall, so one small bed, 90 for two meters, another small bed here, or if we decide this is the best wall, we still wanna be able to simulate. So that will be one bed, this will be the second bed. You can't really go much here because you're gonna get the door. And you can see again, we are going with the approach of the little, those little wooden niches with little shelves and putting enough outlets everywhere. So it's going to be awesome. Enough things to charge all their devices and whatever it will be in the future. And in this little corner where we have a second door, we've decided that actually this serves a better purpose if we close it, so close this area here up to the window and it's going to be a place where you can put your jackets and your shoes. For the kids, it's just going to be a wall, but then from this side, you just come from the, wall, uh, from the door, you come in and you immediately have this space here closed where you can put your jacket, take off your shoes, put it here and it's just an absolutely perfect location. We really don't need two doors in this room. We take a little bit of space from the kids and gain some storage. So that's where we are at. This is the piano. It's massively heavy. So we just had to wrap it as crazy so it doesn't get dust and it will be placed somewhere else because the kids will get too excited to have in their room and will not sleep. So we definitely don't want that. Next up, we have our bedroom, the parents' bedroom. 
This one has a lovely perk of having the bathroom just there, but then it has a little con, which is the fact that it is smaller than all the others, but then again, has a beautiful window into the garden, so we'll take it. And here we are doing the same approach, as you can see, putting the little niches, and right now they're just opening up for the outlets. You can see here, they're just opening up the wall to put the outlets. Here you can see that we draw the 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 bed the headboard for the bed and simulate how it's going to look like we are keeping our options open so we still added some outlets on the side but i'm not sure it's going to actually work to put the table the table not the the bed because it's way too close to the to the door so not very convenient so that's how we are planning things I hope this was helpful to give an idea of some of the things that go through our mind when we are planning the rooms, when we are deciding to put outlets, because remember again, this is the only opportunity you have to put them because you're breaking everything. So this is the perfect time to decide where you wanna put them. And we are going with the approach, the more the better, because you never know the day of tomorrow. I hope, full, hopefully this is helpful. Stay tuned, there will be plenty more videos on the renovation. Thank you so much for following us on this journey.